equal something that's coming ahead. Oh, it's something in the future, and and, and it's probably the, you know the European Union's the best distraction out there. They get everybody thinking everything's ever coming out of Europe. And uh, <laughs> the beast is Babylon. America is Babylon. The last day is Babylon, and the first beast of Revelation will arise out of Babylon. So he's coming out of the United States. I don't, you know, I don't know where the false prophet is going to rise out of. In fact, the false prophet itself, it doesn't even say. There's nothing that indicates where the false prophet comes from, except that he's out of the earth. And that's why, you know, when we go into looking at Tremaine and Sananda here and here and here and uh, within the Sarah agenda, you'll see that he's one of these ascended masters that comes out, and he's going to be very good because he looks exactly like Jesus. He's a split image because what they did was, I don't know if they took a picture of him and mimicked him or, or just made him look like Jesus. The pictures we've seen of Jesus are exactly what the Sananda is going to come looking like. And now we knew those were artists' renditions of Jesus. They weren't really him to begin with. But this Sananda that comes is going to look exactly like him. And it's going to deceive a lot, a lot of people. And what he's going to do is he's going to say, the Antichrist is, is my father. He's God. Worship him. Look, he's letting me do all these miracles. And he's going to call fire down from heaven. He's going to be able to do a lot of incredible miracles. He's going to attribute them all to the first piece of Revelation and say, this is my father. I'm, I can do these from his power. And he's going to demand that the world worship this first beast as God. And it's going to be very deceptive because he's going to look like the original Jesus that we all think is Jesus. None of us know what he looks like. All we've seen is these pictures they've plastered all over the place since we've grown up. And when he comes looking exactly like him, speaking in very spiritual and significant terms, I'm going to get into how deceptive these terms are in some of the you know coming radio shows, radio programs, and I get into more detail on this, you're going to see how good this deception is going to be. And I'm telling you, you know, I'm warning you again, if you're so arrogant to think you can't be deceived, then look at what church you're sitting in now. Because it's a good 10, 20, 30 million of professed believers that are sitting in beast churches today. Okay? Uh, another thing, again, let's go back to the Antichrist War on the Saints. I have a few minutes. I just want to finish that up. The Antichrist War on the Saints begins, the first thing he does when he comes to power is begin his War on the Saints. And how is he going to do that? Because, you know, around the world already, Christians are being persecuted. They're already China, South Africa. We're hearing about the abuse stories all the time, especially from Christians, and even in Iraq, being persecuted just because they're Christians. And the United States of America, in the Babylon of the last days, the, the war on the saints is going to happen through martial law. And if you look in 1984, Rex 84, uh, Oliver North, Ronald Reagan, even back then, they were implementing plans and strategies to build concentration camps all across America. These are holding tanks. They can hold 30, 40,000 people at a time. And they have massive concentration centers in Atlanta in Indianapolis, in Alaska, they're all over the place where they plan on killing and burning and destroying up to 100,000, five, even 500,000 people a day. Martial law is coming to America. And the reason you keep hearing about it from Rumsfeld and they're using this phony terrorism stuff as an excuse to condition people into believing and eventually accepting the fact that martial law is going to come here is because once it starts, it won't stop. It will ripple between every city, every state, until this entire country is in martial law. And this, folks, is the Antichrist War on the Saints. Do not go to these relocation centers. When they, when they come to your area, if your area has been hit with a bomb, if your area has been hit with some kind of disaster, they're going to be setting up relocation centers. What they're going to do is they're going to separate you from your kids, first of all. So that'll keep most of you out of them to begin with. Don't go to the post office when they say report to post offices or, or report to any place for relocation. Take your family and go. Hit the hills. Go. Don't don't follow. At, at this point, our government has become so corrupted, they're out to get anybody on their list, red, blue, green list. If you're on a red list, you're going to be automatically killed. If you're on a blue list, you're going to be taken to a camp and killed. It doesn't matter either list you're on. The only one you're going to be safe on is a green one, and a green one means that you have no love of the Lord in you anyway. You're going to go along with the system. You're not going to be a problem. You're going to accept the new world order. They'll keep those people alive. But they're coming after you. They're coming after the Christians. They're coming after those who love the Lord. And so when you see martial law hit America, know that we're in the end times. That's one of the biggest signals of the end times, besides seeing him coming in the clouds, which is a little bit going to be a little obvious to most people, uh, is, is the martial law, the war on the saints. And that's going to happen, you know, for three years. The Antichrist, the first beast, is allowed to rule for 42 months. 
So that's going to happen during the first three and a half years. When the false prophet comes on the scene then, America has been decimated by martial law and wars. Then he starts the enforcement of the chip of the beast on the world. So there's two different halves. There's two different beasts dominating. And, you know, most people just don't see it coming. They don't expect it. Uh, you know, I don't have any... Um, any questions right now from the mailbag that I can remember? I know that some of you have sent some questions in. I should have, you know, copied them off. Uh, you can see uh, the archives. You can read these archives at archiveondemand.com. You can listen to them for a small fee of six ninety five a month. You can listen to every every host that's on Reality Radio Network. You can access all of their archives, not just mine. You can listen to Steve and some of the other great people that are on this network. Uh, you know, uh I have a few minutes. I have about two minutes. Next week, Zeph Daniel is going to be on the show. I haven't gotten a confirmation, but the last time I did an interview with Zeph, we had agreed that he would come on my show the last Friday of the month. Uh, so I have not heard back from him yet, but I'm holding out to see if Zeph Daniel will be here next week. If he's not here, then I will pick up where I've left off, and I'll get into Nisera more, the political beast of the agenda. There's a lot of material, a lot of information I have to get in. I know I always go off on rabbit trails, but I think it's important that people understand the last days are upon us. It's not something that's coming in the near future. And the things that are taking place now within our government are the things that the church is telling you aren't, aren't going to take place so much, much later. You know, when you hear martial law now, when you hear martial law now, uh, that should be putting up red flags. So I'm just here to, to warn and wake you up a little bit. If you have questions, you can reach me at Sherry Schreiner at AOL.com. And uh, my show will be changed to Saturday nights at 8 o'clock. I'm changing the time, changing the day a little bit. Try to get it earlier and later. Only, you know, another day of the week for me to work uh, work on it. So the show will be changed to Saturdays at 8 o'clock at rea uh, realityradionetwork.com. And I'll put that on my site, so I'll put it on my blogger. I'm going to follow my blogger at sherryshriner.blogspot.com. You don't need the www's in front of it. And you can see my main site at sherryshriner.com. And I'll... I'll Talk to you next week. Glad to have you with me this week. Good night and God bless. This is the Reality Radio Network on Telstar 5 Transponder 5 and on the Internet at realityradionetwork.com.